Look, I rearranged the furniture and the other couch is over there. So one couch, two couch. I feel like this is like apartment style because my living room's pretty big and it's like now doing this, I put like, I cut it in half so I'm pretty close to the TV. So this is like, makes me feel like apartment style. See, look. See? See the TV? Don't look at the table. The table's a mess. I need to clean it. Oh, goodness. So, contemplating, contemplating. I don't know. So, my mom and my aunt are going to New York. Uh, when are they going to New York? They're actually going out September 12th. They're like, man, we missed it by one day. I guess they wanted to be there for September 11th. I don't know. So they're going to New York, and they were asking anybody if they wanted to join and join them. And at the time, I'm like, nah, I'm not going to do it. I don't think so. But they've already got the, um, the hotel in flights. And my aunt bought the, f the flights. She said she got it from some deal that she knew or something. Not going through like Travelocity or anything like that. It was just, I don't know. I don't know what kind of deal it was. But she said she got a great deal. So um, they're staying in Times Square, which is pretty cool. So this is something that they have always wanted to do. They've always wanted to go to New York. Apparently, um, growing up, my grandfather their dad let me take these off so there there's not a glare oh my hair now anyway um look, look, at, ugh, look at the indentions oh, da, 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 da. maybe i should put them back on anyway um so my grandfather had always wanted to go to new york i don't think he's ever made it but then when talking to my mom it sounded like she said he had gone because he's in the Navy or military or something something like that and so he did go but it was like a quick trip anyway so they're going for him I guess and it's just it's like I want to go and I was so excited because I've always wanted to go to New York too and I think I've always wanted to go just because she had mentioned this and it's always been in my at the back of my head so it's like when she said she was going to go, finally, I was like, good for you. You're doing it. You're doing it. And now I want to go. But my son's band, they do a big trip every other year. And so last year, they didn't go anywhere. I think they went to, like, Dallas or, oh, they went to Corpus Christi. And then the year before that, they went to San Francisco. And uh, the year before that, they went to Dallas. So... Good thing, this is his final year. He's a senior, he will be a senior, and so it's his final year in band, and they're going to New York. And I'm like, hell yeah, I'm gonna chaperone, just like I chaperone the one in San Francisco. So, so it kind of eased my mind when they um, were talking about going to New York. And I was like, well, I'm gonna go anyway, and I'll chaperone, and it's kind of good when I chaperone because like the itinerary is done for you all you have to do is pay you know they they talk about they're going to do this this and this and this and you're like all right i'm along for the ride and hopefully i get a good good group of kids where they don't need any like help or anything because last time i went to san francisco i was lucky and got like my son and a group of his friends and they were perfect and i mean it was so funny <laughs> It was funny, too, because it was like, they were like, I, I was, maybe I'm the bad influence and they didn't listen to me, good thing, but I was like, hey, do you guys want to go over here? And it was like, well, we should really be with the group. And I'm like, yeah, but it's, no, we should be with the group. I'm like, all right, all right fine, jeez, we'll be with the group. And then um, we were in Chinatown in San Francisco and I was like, oh, look at this shop. Let's go. And I walked off the curb and the lady or the girl's like, we shouldn't be jaywalking. And I was like, that's right. We don't jaywalk. Let's go to the corner, walk to the other corner and walk back this way. Hey, no, 
He's biting my glasses. I swear this this cat's like a dog. He chews everything. So anyway, um, I was like, what group of nerds? <laughs> but anyway, maybe it's good. But anyway, maybe I'll get those group that group again because. I don't really have to watch them. They watch themselves. They know difference between good and bad. And obviously I'm bad and they need to stay good. So good. <laughs> Let them be good. I will be bad. I will veer off away from the group. In fact, I did when I was in San Francisco and I got left. Lesson learned. Was it? Was it really? I don't think it was because I'll do it again. I will. Um, but anyway, so now I'm like, now I'm almost excited. Do I want to go? My mom said that they found flights. Now again, I don't know if she found flights or if this was with her deal, but round trip was like 350. And I'm like, I can do 350. They already have a hotel. And after that, it's just like excursions and things I want to buy, you know? So if I already know I'm going to go back again next year with my son and his band trip, then I won't be so tempted to be like, we got to do this, we got to do that, we got to do that. Ugh. And besides, I'm kind of nervous because my mom, she's not, she, uh, she just makes me nervous. Coming here to visit me, which is an eight hour drive, eight hours, seven and a half to eight hours. She will get here in 10 and a half hours, maybe 12, because she got lost, because uh, she didn't charge her phone and couldn't find the map. Be, and like, she will stop and ask for directions because she's lost. Like, one time, I am literally off 35. This is a long time ago. So I was literally off 35. I lived off 35. You took from my mom's place all the way down. You come off 35 and I'm right there. It was perfect. I was like, you can't miss me, mom. It's a straight shot. Hit 35, I'll be there. Um, and uh, no, she calls me and she, I'm like, well, no, no, no. I call her because I'm like, okay, it's 10 hours. My mom should have been here now. I don't, I don't know where she's at. So I call her and she's like, we're almost there. We're about 15 minutes away. We're following this guy. And I'm like, oh, great mother. Who are you following? Who did you ask? What is going on? So anyway, I was like, okay, well, you're a straight shot. I don't understand what happened. And she's like, well, we went to the store and then I think we went the wrong way. And then we had to stop and we asked this other guy if he knew where this place was. And he said, yes, and he took us. And I said, you didn't come down 35? She's like, no, we're on the one. How the hell did you end up on the one? Mother, it's a straight shot. So, you see, I'm kind of nervous here with her being out in the big world by herself. Kind of nervous. And I know I shouldn't be. It's my mom. She's, she'll get along. She'll, it'll be fine. But uh, kind of nervous. Kind of nervous. So, I in the back of my mind, I want to go with her just so I can make sure she's okay. But I know she'll be fine. And maybe it's better I don't go because I have a feeling... I'd want to strangle her later because she wants, to, oh, let's go this way. No, mom, we can't go that way. Well, why can't mom get back here? It's going to be worse than chaperoning 11, 10, 10th graders. I, I know it will be. <laughs> so, and then to top it off, she'll be with my aunt. And I think my aunt's the same way. And they, they want to do what they want to do. But sometimes it's not always right. But then... I'm not always right. So I don't know. I don't know. So let's look at the calendar and see what days. I think she said a Thursday. September 11th is a Wednesday maybe. September 12th is where they are. I'm looking in this bullet journal that I've been keeping up. Okay, here we go. September. September. Uh, 12th. Oh, oh my gosh, that's a Wednesday. Okay. And I think she said she's coming back Sunday. Gosh, that's a long time. I don't, I don't have my calendar here, so I don't know what's going on. 
Oh, goodness. I don't know. i got to look at my calendar. I'm sure I have concerts going on. Oh, my gosh. Speaking of concerts, I think I have, like, six concerts next month. Like, this weekend, I'm going to go... Saturday, I'm going to see Weezer. Sunday, I'm going to see REO Speedwagon. So, in Chicago. So, not in Chicago, but Chicago with REO Speedwagon. <laughs> So, oh, goodness gracious. And then it's it's feet on the ground running until October, August. Until August. So all my weekends are full. Oh, did you see that? I saw him try to jump. And he did not make it. You know why? Because he's fat cat. That's why. That's why he didn't make it. Oh, she made it. <laughs> oh, anyway. So I got I to gotta look and see if I can make this. It's like I want to, but I don't. I'm nervous for my mom to be out in the big world by herself. But I'm nervous because if I go, we'll end up killing each other. Just look at that. What are you doing? Oh, wow. That's my cue to go. Um, I'll think about it. Think about what's going on. She's talking about going to the Statue of Liberty. I don't know if she said anything about Rockefeller Center. Rockefeller. Rock I can't. You know what I'm saying. I can't say it. Rockefeller. Feller. Rockefeller. Rocket. You, get, you see what I'm saying. Anyway. Um, she didn't mention that or the uh, Central, Central Park. She didn't. I don't think she mentioned those. She just mentioned like um, seeing a musical play. Go to the Statue of Liberty. I don't even know if she said Empire State Building. I don't know. So anyway, whatever. I got to see what um, she's got planned. Maybe I'll look at my schedule, see what's going on there. I know I could go. I, I have the money to do it. It's just I could probably use that money for something else. What? What is going on? What are you doing? are you doing? Oh, oh, get him. Oh. All right. Anyway, put my glasses back on because I can't see you. I can, but you're not clear. And oh, oh there we go. Put my, oh. Ta-da! It is me! It is me! All right. Anyway, that's all I've got. I'm going to go. Um, I'm watching 90 Day Fiance. Let me tell you about 90 Day Fiancé. Maybe I'll save that for tomorrow and give my opinion on 90 Day Fiancé. Because sometimes these people, in fact, oh my god, there's a guy in here. I want to strangle. I can't remember his name. Juan? Oh, Juan, I want to strangle. I don't know why she hasn't kicked your ass out yet. I really don't. But we'll maybe discuss that tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow's bowling. Bleh. All right, I don't know when I'll discuss 90 Day Fiance, but let me tell you, Juan, get the fuck out. That's what I'm saying. Juan, out of here. I don't know why you haven't kicked him out, lady. I don't know who you are, but look, maybe, no, I'm not going to rewind. I'm done. I'm done with this video. I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.